Hello there, hello. Thank you for joining me if you're here with me as I do this live and thank you for joining if you're watching this on the replay. So this is Creative Play for Nature Journalists. This is the second session and uh, today we're going to talk about just, 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 just sketches. Why do I find that so hard to say? Um, so just to recap about why these sessions, I feel like we as a nature journaling community are uh, have the ability to fixate on making art or get worried about making art or, um, you know, get getting stressed about perfectionism. And I really feel like play is the antidote to perfectionism. And, uh, yeah, I just want to play together and allow ourselves to let go of some of that fear about art because as you know nature journaling is all about connecting it's all about capturing the essence of something that you're seeing in nature and so it's not an art activity it can be if you want it to be but it's not necessary to have art skill or to make a perfect pretty picture and so these sessions are to remind us me included that it doesn't have to be about art. So gesture sketches, it's really hard, um, gesture sketches are a way of really quickly capturing uh, something in nature using some really quick lines. So I'm going to share my screen and show you what I'm talking about. Now bear with me because I'm still learning this platform and now I've got this infinite screen thing happening. Okay, I hope. You can see my screen now. So we're going to, I'm going to start off, I'm going to start here because there is so much dyna dynamics, uh, dynamic movement happening here. Oh, so I'll just uh, let you know what I'm using. It's just a Faber-Castell um, oh, hit artist pen. Um, and I'm using this because there's no need to erase anything in gesture sketching. Um, I will not need a pencil. I'm fine with uh, ink pen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly capture this first kangaroo, the one that's in the foreground. And I'm working on just loose sheets of paper now because um, I couldn't find a good page in my latest nature journal. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and so in just sketching, they, they have something called the action line, which is like the main line that captures the action. And we keep our hand as free as possible and our movements as loose as possible. So what I'm going to do is try and catch the action line of this kangaroo. And I'm going to start at the tail and I'm going to quickly, this is no good, this pen. Hmm. Let me try something else. Let me try. Sorry about that. All right. Um, I'm going to try and capture this kangaroo in just a few. And it is a bit like um, blind contour drawing where I'm not, um, I'm really not looking at my, um, my my page very much I'm just capturing something of the subject with a few squiggly lines so the action line the line that's giving you the most detail is the first thing that you put in so there's a super quick um gesture sketch of a kangaroo let's try this this is an ostrich I'm gonna move that so there's so much, again, there's so much um, dynamic movement in this, um, in this ostrich. And I would say the action line is this neck. Look at this. So in just a few seconds, you can capture something about the animal without worrying, without worrying about perfectionism without worrying about how it looks. So that took about 15 seconds maybe. And you can even, you know, then on top of that, if you want to, you can go in and um, 
make it into something, make it into um, something more by by adding shading, by adding um, more details. But the gesture sketch helps us uh, start. It helps us let go and break into the subject. So you can see I'm just adding some shadows. And it's become something in just a few seconds. So let's go to the next one. This is a kookaburra. We're going to do a few of these um, because um, capturing birds in flight with gesture sketching is a great idea. So I'm going to do the, um, the line. What did I call it before? Action line. Birds are so hard to capture because they are... Um, because they're moving, because they're darting here and there. And you may only have 15 seconds or 10 seconds or 5 seconds to capture a bird. And when you train your hand to, um, when you train your hand to move quickly, when you train your brain to capture details very quickly, you you're more likely to be able to capture something of that bird when it's flying past. Okay, I'm gonna do this bird again on a different page. And I'm thinking about where the action line is. So the body, the wings, making big, quick gestures gesture sketching the the name implies that we're capturing the essence of the movement with quick lines and you can spend more time or you can spend you know 10 15 seconds <laughs> that one looks like some sort of monster from the deep sea okay that doesn't matter. Monsters from the deep sea are okay. I'm going to do this kookaburra one more time. Okay, action line. Think of the action line. So the the fewest um, the fewest lines that are going to capture the essence. I guess that's how I think about the action line. And here with the wings, there's so many lines that fan out. This is pretty looking pretty funny. But I feel like you can capture something. Again, I, I keep saying that, but I guess in all this, in all this creative play, it really is about capturing something of the essence of the of the subject. Now, I love this one because you don't have to do gesture sketches just of um, of animals or animal movement. It can be the gesture of a tree, the way a tree is is um, is growing. This is a windswept tree that's bent over because of the habit of the wind blowing it and the gesture of the, the hill and really just in a few seconds you can capture the posture of the tree i like to think of that as a posture because it, it gives them, um, it's like it's like valuing the tree, I think, when we speak in those terms. There's another little one here, and I can capture the posture of this tree as well.
Remembering to keep your hand moving, your lines um, free. I've done that one way too big in proportion, but that's okay. And then I was thinking about up here, the gesture of these clouds. And I guess I've never done a gesture sketch of clouds before, but there's a lot of dynamic movement in these clouds as well. And we can capture something of the clouds with a few dynamic movements. And I think I've got one more here. Let me find a good blank sheet. And this is a flower that has a lot of movement. And I'm going to find a pen for this one. So I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go a little slower. Your um, gestures. Just why can't I say gesture sketches? Your gesture sketches don't have to be super fast, but um, they can be. And I'm just sort of picking out the essence of this flower. With some some lines, some simple lines. And just like um, just like the blind contour drawings we did last week, you can um, you can let gesture sketches be a warm up. They can be a way to start and to break into a subject, because sometimes it's hard to um, sometimes it's hard to begin. And gesture sketches can be a way to begin. Um, and so on top of that, so you've done a gesture sketch and on top of that, you can start playing. You can let the gesture sketch be the basis of, or the base rather, for, for more lines, for more play. I love these little protuberances on the side. There's a mosquito there, it's making me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> we have a lot of mosquitoes here at the moment and I battle with them each night. So you can see what I'm doing here is just over the top of that original gesture sketch that I did. I'm just adding details and then you can start to you can start to be a bit slower you can start to be a bit more um, precise but the gesture sketch can be an opening a way to a way to as I said to break into a subject to start going to make marks on the page because sometimes um, Sometimes the hardest part can be actually putting those first marks in, especially if you have a new journal or a new page that you haven't drawn on yet. It can be so hard to, to make those first marks and to worry about mistakes. Am I going to, am I going to make a mistake on this page? And the, my hope with this series of videos is to... Uh, to remind ourselves that there aren't any mistakes in nature journaling, that it's for us, it's for our observation, it's for our connection. So here I'm just playing with on top of this gesture sketch. Getting to know this orchid, getting to know something about it. So that is the basis of um, the basics of um, gesture sketching. And how are we going? Hello, everyone who's here live. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, Kim, gesture sketching clouds. I um just when I was looking at that. Um, when I was looking at that photo yesterday, I thought, yeah, this is this is cool. We can do this. <laughs> so
So, so that's it. What I want with these sessions is to be really short because there are a lot of um, videos out there that are really long and I know people have busy lives and uh, I just want to take a little moment together every couple of weeks to, to play. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.